Hey everybody, how are we all doing today? I want to discuss the subject of fear and any type of emotion that is bringing you down at a lower vibration and preventing you from evolving. Um, the first thing I want to say is that fear is actually not real outside of our perception. So it, it actually doesn't exist. It's actually a thought pattern that you have developed that allows you to believe that it's there. And, you know, I have personally felt as though there have been external uh, pe people, things, influences that are out to harm me in some way. That they're there, that, and that has caused that's something that can cause fear. And it's, it's always the illusion that I create in my own head. Um, and I, th I think of it because of things I've done in the past. I'm like, like I, I have certain, I've done certain things in the past which I am not proud of. I am not, I wish I could take back and it's really made me think that there's no reason to live with heavy feelings regardless of what has done, gone down in the past. There's this whole thing of self-forgiveness and moving on and just letting it go. And for, for some, it's more difficult than others to do so. For me, it is very easy to forgive others, but when it comes to forgiving myself, it's more difficult. And the name that I've created for this channel is Tranquil Expedition, which literally means freeing yourself and reaching a more of a peaceful place. And it's expedition is the journey. So it's this journey of seeking peace and letting go of anything that's keeping me down. Um, and it's, it's really liberating and empowering to understand that Nothing outside of us can really make us feel any, anything. We are the powerful ones. There is nothing outside of us that is more powerful that can come in and dictate how you are feeling or, you know, but sometimes we allow certain things to come in and control our lives. And this is why it's essential to live with self-empowerment understand that we do not need to bow down to certain things that don't have our best interests in mind when when some kind of force comes in and tries to bring you down and you know that it goes against your values and your genuine self it is absolutely reasonable to to think about how this doesn't make any sense and I will not stand for it and I'm also going to make a future video about specific ways in which we can eliminate fear, when we can evolve better, like very specifically, because I believe that specifics are important and that understanding the fundamentals of actions to take instead of just saying to live a higher, more high vibration, higher frequency lifestyle, uh, because these specific things have helped me and very soon I will be discussing that and I'm going to go back to this whole point of liberation about how when we're able to get out of this mindset that something's coming out, out to get something's out to get us you know whether it's like a virus or you know an, an individual who, who you think is out to get you because of something you've done. You know, you know, for me, it's been this fear that I'm going to end up in jail for no reason at all. And I, it's never a rational thing because 
I can't think of a reason why I, I would belong there in the first place. It's just, it's this illusion. But I want to get rid of the illusion and start thinking rationally about the thoughts that I'm having because it's really important to be aware of your thoughts, to live with intention and understand that your thoughts have great meaning and they end up being the direct result of your life. Your thoughts do create re your reality. Um, so yeah, I, I really wanted to stress the importance of developing your own thoughts, making sure that they're purely your own and you know, un also understand that if anything is coming in and trying to instill fear inside of you or that you're making you feel ashamed, it's never pure because nature does not work in a way that wants to put its own creation down. And if we're all on a nature frequency, we're all connected to the source of energy, which provides us with this abundance of life, then the system should absolutely be about unity, uh, prom promoting these feelings of, of joy, anything that is higher in frequency. Um, I also want to discuss the importance of compassion because a lot of the times we do not know why people act the way they do. You know, people make mistakes all the time. And, you know, I personally do not feel good about certain things I've done in the past. And, you know, if, if we just cast blame on each other and develop these harsher feelings towards each other because of these actions, we really got to see what's going on um, with the bigger picture of things. Instead of just casting blame on people, why don't we look at fixing the environment so that these things don't happen in the first place? Um, crime occurs in areas that are just full of, you know, people who do not have a uh, a parent that was there for them to nurture them. A lot of the time, these people didn't even have friends to look after them. They were just born, pretty much born into a world where there was just chaos all around them. And when they grow up, it's kind of difficult to expect them to, to feel like whole or because they weren't taken care of. You're, they're going to produce what they were given to them. If we produce, um, individuals with nurturing uh, care, then they will act very similar to that. It'll be a result of what they have been given to them. And the thing about the prison system, if, if somebody commits a crime, what is a prison really going to teach them? Um, to just um, put somebody away and tell someone they should be ashamed of what they've done without even, you know, looking at their life or what they had experienced or the trauma that was done to them. That's just ignorant. So building a community, building a planet that promotes aspects of nature, to me, that's the only way. But yeah, to wrap up, I just want to reiterate the importance of understanding that Nobody can get inside your head unless you allow them to. Nobody understands your personal journey. Um, I will make a great effort to not allow others to get inside my head. I will uh, repeat to myself just how little of a, an effect that these people have, they can have on me because I create that reality. I create that perception of fear if, if I choose to, but I don't want to do that. So, you know, always be aware of the thoughts that you are having. That is essential. And understand that there's never a reason 
that is logical and, and it would never make sense to just carry your life on with heavy baggage. People make mistakes and forgiveness and compassion is important. And if people can't um, have, have to share that compassion, if they can't see the bigger picture of what led you to um, be impulsive at that time and do something that you aren't proud of, then that is their ignorance. And you're not here to please everybody. Not everybody is going to understand. And don't feel bad about anything that you have done in the past. Let it go. Learn from your mistakes. Don't carry on that baggage with you because that baggage, that shame, that, that guilt that you feel, that will be carried out into the planet. And whatever is pure in nature does not want that to go. So I'm here to share my compassion. And I'm also here to focus on creating a system that allows people to flourish that wouldn't even make crimes possible. There's, there, there are ways that we can create a system where these things won't even have to happen. So that's the information that I wanted to share for the day. And like I said, I will be getting more into specifics of how we can re actually release this fear and I'll share what has helped for me. And it can also strengthen your immune system by doing these things. But I appreciate all who have tuned in to listen to this message. And I'll be seeing you all later.